Oh. This doesn't look complete. Let me fix it. Much better. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel with my inspiring designs with me, Justine, where all I want to do is inspire the event designer in you. If you are new here to my channel, welcome. Um, if you like to, what, are, what is what is the line? I don't even know what my line is. If you're new here on my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell to get notified on all the decor, DIY projects I do here on my channel for all the events that you want to design. In today's video, we are actually going to tackle on a cute Halloween balloon garland. My theme was the night before Christmas. I never really watched the movie, but I figured why not? It's something that's different, but we got a little Christmas spirit going on here as we transition into the holiday season. So if you would like to see how to do this beautiful Halloween garland, make sure to keep watching. All right, so all the, the supplies are gonna be listed down below. And if you guys stay tuned throughout the entire video, I'm gonna give you guys a more step-by-step -step on how I blow up the balloons. So make sure you watch it all the way to the end. So let me know in the comments, do you guys like Halloween? It's not my particular favorite holiday, but I would love to know if this is something you enjoy. There are some people out there who love Halloween as their favorite holiday. It's just not for me. I don't like being scared. So I get a lot of people who ask me, how do you know when to stop filling the balloons like um and i just wanted to kind of do like a little slow-mo so this is a 12 inch balloon and usually how i know it's when i after i blow it up it has like a cone shape it has a cone shape that's what i meant to say before pressing the button so you're going to put the nozzle the balloon right on top of the nozzle this blue one is the one that ignites the air and this one just acts like a second one it does not like if i'm pressing on it it doesn't happen but if i press on this one both of them blow up with air so i'm going to put the balloon over so usually you know that an air, a balloon is fully filled when the balloon the bottom starts to shape out like a cone so see how this is a cone shape if we apply pressure like mind you i'm pressing without releasing air so you want to press first and then slowly let your fingers let the air out as you continue to push okay now obviously i do both of them at the same time but it's still a little cone shape so I'll push it even more. If you're doing balloons, you can't be afraid that it's going to pop. If they pop, that's fine. But you see how it creates a rounder shape. Now, I don't know how many inches this is. If I had to guess, it probably looks like around between 9 and 10 inches. So you lose about 12 inches, which is why I always go higher. And then um, that's usually the case. Now, when it comes to balloons, I don't use Party City balloons anymore with my clients because it's not the highest quality. And what I use is um, will be listed down below just because I want to make sure I'm putting the right ones so that way you guys have links to them. Um, I know you can't see it on camera, but this co this is completely see-through. And the only reason why I like utilizing it for YouTube is because you really can't tell that it is see-through. But in person, you can tell there's a difference. A balloon should not be see-through. That is a low-quality balloon, and it's not something that you want to put in a business. However, if you're throwing a party or an event for a friend, family, and you don't want to spend a lot of money, Party City usually has them... They're pretty inexpensive, which is why I utilize them to practice and to um, do for any family or friends and or to show you guys on YouTube. So this is a 12 inch balloon, but I also wanted to tell you that this is a nine inch balloon and I'm going to do the same thing, but this one won't get as much air and I'm going to show you what you can do with a nine inch. Yeah. 
you're going to stop when it usually makes like around I usually do two to three pumps of air usually and you see how it has a cone shape again I have another balloon in my hand so what I do is I put the balloon down and I push on it okay don't be afraid and then slowly release that air okay and then it creates two round balloons now you can see the nine inch balloon is probably now a seven inch balloon and then the 12 inch balloon is probably like a nine inch or a 10 inch balloon okay both of these i utilize this now i can also use a nine inch balloon because i can make it even smaller especially if i don't have um five inch balloons available especially sometimes party seat is a hit or miss so I'll usually, remember, it does not matter how much air. Actually, the various sizes make it look a lot better versus just one size that I usually use. Okay, and then you're going to tie them together. Okay, just like how you would with two balloons. And then you would tie these together and then there's your duplet. Okay, the various size balloons makes it more organic where you can charge more and bring more value to your business if you're running it but again if you want a fuller look this is something you go you guys cannot see the color differentiation on camera but this one is a darker orange than this one and which is why again i don't use party city balloons for my clients because i need the the shade of color to continuously be consistent throughout the balloon garland versus what's going on right now but again i only use this to practice to show you guys but all the techniques can be utilized with the same higher quality balloons. It'll just look a lot better in person versus what it's looking now. So that's just Balloon 101. So I'm only using what I had and I had one 24 inch balloon left over and these are usually when it starts to get bigger. I am not a fan of Party City's um, bigger balloons because they always have like these, I don't know, dots on them. The black one is fine and I have a green one but you want to make sure so this nozzle is going to be a lot bigger than your nozzle so you're going to have to close it in. <laughs> So this is usually how big I get it, but as you can see, um, there's a lot of like white film that you cannot, can you wipe it off? Oh, you can wipe it off. I'm just not a fan. I don't, if you order um, higher quality balloons, usually they will not have the film at all, but this is every single big balloon. Um, and then the darker the balloon gets, the more film you'll see. So what I usually do is I don't round this one because it comes out pretty round. But what I end up doing is using a 12 inch balloon and I'm going to release that air. Okay, and then I'm going to do the exact same thing that I have been doing. You're just going to tie both nozzles. So one thing I know that works is that, okay, you just kind of twist it and then tie. It's harder to do on camera them together green one okay again it's another 24 inch for the green we're going to hold the nozzle down and yeah that's a fail because uh let me see if i can turn this light down has let's see if i can get it in focus all right there we go so this balloon has two dents i get this all the time um and there's supposed to be four balloons four balloons and i think these run like 7.99 or 8.99 but they're supposed to be four i cannot risk losing one of these balloons because of deformity in the balloons this is why i never use party city balloons when it comes to it which just means that i, I don't know if i'll be able to use the black one i'll probably put it at the end but this is what i'm talking about Party City Balloons, a lot of people wanted to get mad at that woman on TikTok. If you have no idea, make sure you tune in because I'm going to address how I went viral on TikTok. But this is one of the reasons why. Okay, Party City Balloons, yes, anyone can do anything with Party City and Dollar Tree Balloons. But you get what you pay for.
So let's walk step by step. So you're going to tie a knot in the beginning of your balloon, take one cluster, tie a knot, and then you're going to get another duplet and kind of push down on the first one. And then you're going to wrap it around the new one under the first one and then pull a little, do it one more time around the new one and just pull tight. Now you can do this the same cycle twice. I just don't do it. So again, you're going to push in, you're gonna go over the new one under the second one, pull tight. So the one thing I did absolutely wrong when I first did this video right here was I didn't start with the top first. So I'm actually going to put the middle of the garland and it doesn't have to be an estimate just because you can always add balloons to the bottom. That was one of the biggest mistakes I made with this video. So don't make that mistake when doing a garland, especially when it has to be pretty higher up. All right, so another disclaimer is I never use fishing wire to actually attach any of my garlands to anything, to be honest. So if it's on a wall, I'm always using balloon string. It's just a lot easier for me to see, and it's a lot easier for me to work with versus fishing line. Some people do use 260 balloons to attach it, and it's just because they just tie a knot, and then they're just wrapping it around. Whatever works for you guys, I'm gonna do multiple videos using multiple strategies up until the end of the year. So it'll be various balloon garlands, but different techniques. So make sure you're subscribed and comment below what kind of um, balloon garland you would want me to do so I can do it for you in the midst of teaching you my strategies. So you're going to get a piece of string and you wanna cut it pretty long, longer than what you need it for. And I'm gonna take you behind here so that way you can see how I attached it. All right, so you guys are facing the opposite way. Obviously, I'm going to measure this because my little apartment is not that big. So this thing might look deceiving. And it's actually 59 inches, which is right under six feet. Um, so that's how long the poles are. The balloons is going to stretch a little longer, so it'll probably go over six feet um, wide. Um, just for the sake of the video, normally I would add another pole and it'll be a lot bigger But for the sake of the video, I'm just showing you a condensed version of it. So this um, Balloon garland is this video portion of the video is gonna be a little darker just because the light source is on the other side But I wanted to show you guys so I kind of estimated that this is about the beginning It doesn't have to be accurate remember when it comes to building a balloon garland on a stand You can always add to the bottom, but it's harder to add it on the top we're getting it now and then we're gonna cut a pretty decent size you can always trim it all right I think I'm gonna do a voiceover for this portion just because it's very hard to talk and do this so stay tuned so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to kind of push the balloons in between the pole and then you're going to take your string and tie it around one balloon ensuring that the string is like over and under the pole so that way it attaches I usually just tie it in a bow, but obviously you can secure it more and tie, double tie it or put a knot. You can also trim the balloon string, but nobody will see it, but I was just showing you just because. And then you're going to do the same thing throughout the garland. Now remember, the idea is to hide the pole like it's never there. So you want to make sure that you're looking on the opposite side as well to ensure that the pole is not being shown. So I know it looks a little crazy, but you remember, you don't care about showing the poles in the back. What you really care about is that the poles are hidden in the front. 
so it looks like it's a floating arch so if you do see the pole you have to kind of put more balloons there so that way it kind of hides it The balloon garland is about a little over six feet tall and probably five feet wide. Remember, if you create a similar balloon garland, you have to take account at how wide and tall your stands are, and that dictates how many balloons you'll need. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below of what kind of balloon garlands you guys want me to do. Also, if you are an event designer who really wants to know the business end of it when it comes to starting a balloon garland, make sure to check out my free Facebook group, um, Attract Clients to Your Events, where I drop hidden gems almost every day. If you're interested, it's free of charge. You do have to answer all the questions in order to gain access. Make sure you're doing that. And hopefully I'll catch you on the inside. I would definitely like to thank KMP Party Rentals for sponsoring this video. They created these cute signs. How cute is this? They can literally take any image that you guys want and turn it into a poster. They ship nationwide if you're in the US and possibly worldwide. I would definitely DM them on Instagram to find out they do. I got the 27 inch one and it came out so cute it definitely looked cute on the dessert table so if you're interested their links will be down in the description box below okay so fun fact halloween is not my favorite holiday at all but it also gets me really excited because it is the start of the holiday season so we will be transitioning from halloween all the way till fall, winter, and New Year's Eve to celebrate um, the end of 2020, aka quarter four of Jumanji. <laughs> I hope you guys are having an awesome Halloween. I don't know if it's canceled, but if it's not, make sure you wear your mask, be safe, and continue to design your dreams into reality. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Is Halloween canceled this year?